In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, extraordinary heroes who are standing by to Too much. I do not talk too much. <gasps> See? I meant to do that. Anyway, we're not supposed to play a boing ball in here. I'm only playing keepy uppy. It's not like I was giving the ball a big boing like this. Oh no! playing boing ball in here, are you? No. <gasps> Did the trick. Wow. That's the difference between being a six and being a three. And Adrian calling in. It's not for long. A girl has a problem with her marble run. What's happening? It was working well. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. It should be like this. That looks fine. But the girl's marbles are going wrong. They don't work. It's not a very big problem. But it could be the start of something bigger. You're right. I'm going out there. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? There's a problem, need to fix. Who's going out there? Number six. <laughs> Screen. OK. Checking if we've got any more problems. Hey, my piece. Sounds like I found one. Just going to have a look. Problems here. <laughs> That's very funny food. There's something strange going on here, Six. Yes, and we need to know more about it. Can anyone help us think about these things? What's happened to them all? 
as this building block. We need to know exactly what we're dealing with. We need a name. Agent 70 here. I think these shapes are called cubes. Cubes! They're cubes! Right. I need to have a closer look at those peas. Try not to be seen. I'll use the menu for cover. Those peas. Something's changed them. What? I don't know yet. First, you've got to change them back to the shape they were before. But what shape were they before? It's a twinkling into hell. They were all round. They were all shaped like a ball. Anyone know the name of the shape? It'd help. Spheres. Shapes like that are called spheres. Let's change that shape. Get ready to change the shapes back to spheres. Going for brain gain. OK, we're changing cubes into spheres. Cubes into spheres. Cubes into spheres. OK, I'd better check out the orange. Okay, just got to sort out the marble run now. We're getting signs of more problems with spheres. It's either in the pet shop or in the sports hall. I need to know where to go. Which is it likely to be? Where will there be lots of spheres? In the pet shop or the sports centre? <laughs> Center has lots of balls. I'm on my way. If things keep turning from spheres into cubes, anything could happen. <laughs> Bubbles might turn into cubes. <laughs> or the sun might change from a sphere to a cube. signal from near the table tennis. OK. I bet I know what's making things go wrong. What? The shape, Japer. On the screen. Looks like the shape, Japer's back. Shape, Japer, she's really very strange. Shape. She loves to make things change Changing faces, changing styles Changing shapes every single time Changing shapes is the Japer's game The shape Japer's back
changing all the balls into cubes. All the games are being ruined. Going to sort that shake japer out. Brain game coming. <laughs> Cubes into spheres! Cubes into spheres! Round those corners! We need all the help we can get! And sometimes, people help us. We've got it all on screen. This is what it looked like. The peas turned into cubes. And so did the orange. There's you arriving! <laughs> Needed lots of brain game to sort all those out. Ah! The shape japer! <laughs> you had to sort all the balls out. All the cubes turned back into spheres. And then it was you and the marble run. Liked that trick. Well, I'm glad that was sorted out. <laughs> Maybe we should turn this sphere into a cube. Oh no! Not my boing ball! Well, maybe we'll just put it away safely. <laughs> Safe inside a cube. Okay. And calling all agents. Check if you've got any spheres where you live. And if you have, call the number. 